Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, may... what do we have for Scorpio please? February 2021 for Scorpio, thank you. What is the overarching energy? That flew out. Oh, it's interesting. You've got a similar, you've got the same card as Pisces, the two of pentacles. It's not unusual for signs of the same element to have similar energies. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. February 2021. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> love those cards. So I have happiness and I love the fact the butterfly is appearing in them both. The butterfly is a sign of transformation, emerging from a chrysalis to a butterfly. It's not always easy. It's a difficult process, but it ends up with something very, very beautiful. Um, so transformation is available to you now that brings great happiness. Oh, that's so nice. Such a lovely energy. Okay. Let's pop that there. that over me there we go okay so angels what is the message for Scorpio please message for Scorpio thank you if you believe now it's interesting it looks very much like Metatron's Archangel Metatron's symbol of creation there that she's holding that angel it is, if you believe that you can create something, transform something, then you do. You know, it's that kind of energy. So it is that have faith in your own abilities to bring transformation to a situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out at one card per week. Though divine timing and all that, the energies and messages may well overlap. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message as we always do, Scorpio. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have with Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Scorpio, February 2021. Okay, so we have, I've got the star reversed and I have the Six of Cups here. The Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Scorpio, please, Angels, Spirits, Guides. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to just, uh, there's too many there. Let's just pull one. One card for the star, please, for Scorpio. One card for the star reverse, please, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits, guys. I'll do a couple more shuffles. If it doesn't come out, I will choose the card. Thank you. Okay, two cards. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Two of Wands. Six of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. 
the Hierophant is clarified with the Ace of Cups. The Four of Pentacles, interestingly enough, I've got two cards again. We have the Five of Cups and the Chariot. Oh, doesn't want to be held. There we are, Five of Cups and the Chariot there. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio, we have the Ten of Cups. So Scorpio, star reversed. So generally when the star is upright, it means hope, have faith, it's a sense of renewal, optimism, and so on and so forth. Generally when this is reversed, it can say a lack of faith, where there could be some disconnection, something causing you despair, where you just don't have faith in something, or you don't know if there's you have faith. In, in something changing or optimism coming or if there's going to be hope. Because for, and what is it? Because it's been a difficult journey. The Nine of Wands is a card where you've been tested. It's Germany, an energy where you have been tested. It's been a long journey. You have come so far and they're one wand, you're one wand away or this knight is one wand away. It's the wounded warrior from bringing change to a situation. So you're being told, don't lose hope. Because for some of you, I mean, the two of wands essentially is a card of the beginnings of progress. And it feels certainly with that nine, which is one wand away from a 10, which is a completion in the minor arcana. Uh, change is closer than you think. It might involve some kind of decision or choice in dealing with this situation now. You know, if this is a situation that you've been tested on, again, the two of wands can mean some choice or decision here, Scorpio, or it can well be it, you're so close to the beginnings of progress. It feels as well, there could be some decision that you're taking about your future. Because it's almost kind of like it's got to the point now where things have built up over a period of time that something needs to be dealt with. And again, an energy of decisions, choices here, but it feels to do with the future of something or your future or how you move forward in your future. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. It's interesting because there's two of coins. I mean, we have happiness and transformation if you believe. And I feel it's all part of this choice. How you deal with something that it feels in this situation has been getting you down. Where you've been losing hope, faith. In something changing here. And the two of coins can be a card of being, feeling a little bit overwhelmed. And again, that nine of wands, it feels like something may have overwhelmed you or it's a feeling of, of dealing with something. It can sometimes be about multiple priorities, um, lots of things going on and the ability, your practical ability to deal with them all, you know. It feels in this situation, something is getting to that point where it is a bit oh, too overwhelming, even though this is an energy of, it is still within your capability to deal with even though you don't feel it. But it feels in this situation you need to prioritise, step back, understand how you get balanced back to the situation. And that might well, might well be making some decision about your future and how you move forward. It feels like things have got to a crossroads here in what has weighed you down. But you are being told transformation is available to you. This is your time to emerge from the old shedding old skin and emerge in a new light with greater happiness if you believe so let's clarify the six of cups let's clarify the six of cups for scorpio please
Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is generally a card of joy. It's a uh, it's memories energy as well, nostalgia, and the, the struggle to can you get back what you feel, what was lost. I mean, it feels in this situation, this is an idyllic setting, you know, the Six of Cups, uh, a feeling of happiness, joy, contentment, connect connectedness. It's a reconnection with the past and it feels like the Five of Wands is something that has, it feels like that's what you're dealing, you might be dealing with this Five of Wands now, the struggle, the tension, the conflict, that kind of energy, something that has disrupted this kind of like idyllic setting of the past. And there's definitely this kind of energy that I'm feeling of, can you get that back? Can you rekindle this relationship? And it feels like a relationship, I have to say. Because the Seven of Swords, I mean, sometimes this can be about deception. It can be a card of just holding back, you know, the Seven of Swords. I mean, there's an energy of secrecy here. Uh, the Seven of Swords can be about betrayal. I mean, there's levels to this card, betrayal, deception, lack of truth, uh, underhanded tactics or sne sneakiness, you know, that kind of energy. Um, but it, it can just be a card of it, it feels like something has disrupted what felt like a very beautiful connection here that had such hope and potential and you're wondering now I have to make some decision about how I move forward in my future because I don't know if we can get back what we once had and that's the struggle and it might be your conflict as well it might be an inner conflict too for you because the four of wands is stability and security it's the happy home the happy family the happy relationship um and it's a it's a solid relationship it's a secure relationship and it feels like something has happened to undermine that you know i'm definitely getting the seven of swords as something undermining that undermining the happiness of what once was is with the Ace of Cups is a card of have faith um, it can be a holder person giving you advice as well but the Hierophant also represents traditional institutions so it can be marriage committed relationships and I'm definitely getting the energy of a committed relationship the four of wands being the happy home I mean there could have been some deception or lack of truth or or secrets or you know or or just the lack of expression you know people holding back you know keeping their feelings to themselves I mean it's that kind of energy and the ace of cups is the renewal of love could be in a committed relationship marriage um, how do we get back what we feel has been lost and it feels like there's been some, there's some decision about the future to make. But the, the Hierophant is a card of have faith. And again, this Ace of Cups, is the, it's, it's, it feels like a renewal energy, an emotional rebirth, a rebirth of love. And again, this energy of if you believe you can create this, it definitely feels in this energy the transformation and happiness is open to you now because this is the beginnings of happiness where what's gone before doesn't matter this is the positive energy of love uh, compassion happiness joy and it feels like there's some kind of renewal of love that's available to you um, It definitely feels in this energy, Scorpio, that you have the ability to conquer 
something that you thought was going to be lost, that was going to be, um, I mean the Five of Cups can be a card of regret, something that's getting you down. Um, again, it's Five Energy, which is very, very disruptive energy. The negative, focusing on the negative rather than the positive as well of a situation. I mean, that can be the Five of Cups too. We have the cups that are spilt on the floor, but there are still two cups here behind this person. So there's definitely an energy of all is not lost. It's just that if you continue to focus on the negative, then there is a greater chance of there's definitely this kind of like greater chance of of not moving on from this but there's definitely an opportunity here with those two cups behind that person that not everything's lost here there's still hope and again that's what you're being told even though the star is reversed it can sometimes be how you're looking at something that can change the situation, you know, how you, we approach things, how we look at something. It feels in this situation you have the opportunity to get security back in your life. Um, and again, the Four of Pentacles is re-establishing and holding on to what is of value in your life now. So it feels in this situation you do have an opportunity, maybe to go your own way and go in one direction or you have an opportunity to focus on how you can bring and overcome some kind of challenge in a relationship here and put it behind you because that's what the charity does. It, the charity understands how to take the reins of their life, bring balance back to a situation and overcome any obstacle that stands in their way towards victory and success. So there's definitely this energy of you have the ability to turn something around and re-establish the beginnings of, of security and stability in a relationship. Um, because I have the Ten of Cups here at the end, which is the Happy Ever After card, the blissful, rom the blissful uh, relationship, um, where you lack for nothing, there is great happiness, joy, and again, that's what these cards are telling me. They're telling me that even though something feels overwhelming, it is within your grasp, it is within your capability now to deal with this and bring change to it. Um, if you really believe, you can create the reality that you want. But maybe there's an energy of how you're looking at something here, Scorpio, can be the determination between success or failure. I see success here over something that feels like it was lost or feels like something there was no hope. It feels in this situation something that has got you down. You have the ability to overcome it now and bring this sense of security and solidity, protect what's yours, that kind of energy. It feels like fight for it. And again, this sense of Ten of Cups, the rainbow of blessings, the happy ever after, real transformation bringing greater happiness and fulfillment long term. So it feels like you can get back what you thought was lost. It feels like you can get back to how you were in the past. I'm definitely getting this energy there. I don't feel the hope is gone. I don't feel something is futile. Not in this relation, not in this reading anyway. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups for Scorpio, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I know. Thank you. The opportunity to rebuild a relationship, take control. And again, the Emperor is a card of four. He is the major arcana of four. The ability to bring stability and security and rebuild. And again, he can be a sign of establishment. So it can be the home, the family, relationship, marriage, call it what you will. But it definitely feels in this energy you have the power. And again, the Emperor is somebody who takes the initiative, who takes charge, who takes control of a situation. And it, I'm definitely getting this energy of rebuild something, solid, stable, secure. Uh, so, you know, take it as you will, Scorpio. It feels quite a deep reading for somebody. 
but the transformation is yours if you want it, if you believe. You know, if you can move that focus from the negative, what was negative, to what was positive, there is victory and success awaiting. And a great turning point in a relationship here. You have the ability to turn this around, should you choose to. Okay, so final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Yeah, and again, this is a viewpoint, isn't it? The giraffe, the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. It's a powerful reading, Scorpio. Like I said, it won't be for everybody, but, you know, take what resonates for you. I wish you well, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all, and I will see you next time. Thank you.